So what we've done is just a devil's food cake mix, two boxes. Mix it together just like you do with the directions on the box. Then what you're going to want to do is pour half your batter into your pot. Let it spread out across the bottom of your pot. What's that rubbed in there? Is that shortening or butter or what? That's shortening. I always treat my pots with shortening Bondo. to keep them from sticking so bad. <laughs> And it also helped to raise no. my pockets. That's the reason why he's cooking, not you, Greg. Forever seen me. And then this is the cream cheese, a little milk, sugar. We'll just pour it down over the top of that part of the batter. Oh, so that's not a batter, it's more like a cream cheese. It's a cream cheese. The cream cheese, butter, sugar, <laughs> vanilla flavor. <laughs> Sounds better all the time. Yeah. Better every time. Just had bacon in it. Johnny, if you please give us all your touring schedule. Y'all would have loved Rick's been with us the last six weeks. We've been uh, down at the Lake Gunners State Park filming down there. And each weekend we cook two different recipes, or, well, six different recipes. Of, Three a day down there for a full meal. Different desserts. Uh, we did a pineapple upside down cheesecake out of oh, Dutch ovens. Oh. <laughs> That'd be good. Well, if you want to make one, we'll help you write the wrong. So, Johnny, do you uh, cook any of your like, uh, holiday meals in Dutch ovens? A lot of times we do, do if our weather allows. We, we need to go uh, uh, turkeys and all in Dutch ovens, hams, and everything in Dutch ovens. So, how would you do a turkey? Just the breast? Or you got one big enough? We have got one big enough. Of course, it's not a lodge, so I don't. Yeah, yeah. Too much. We got you. We got you. <laughs> Sometimes to accomplish what you want, you have to go outside the nope. outside the box. <laughs> so, so, Johnny, you were telling me that Lodge now is the biggest they're making is a 14 a 14 inch, inch deep Dutch oven is the right. largest that Lodge makes anymore. They quit making the 16 inch Dutch ovens because they said it was just too expensive and too wasteful to make that size oven without the waste of the metal. <laughs> So if you own a 16, be proud, <laughs> hang on to it, because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people hunting them. <laughs> so that's got our cake together. All we got to do is take it to the fire and get it started. Tell us about how you clean it at the end. <laughs> now, because if you noticed, I, I rubbed these down with shortening. That'll help season it. And with these, I just take it to a garden hose, faucet, wash them down with cold water if anything is stuck. I use a soft scrubby brush or pad, scrub them down. If, if it's oily, uh, I will use soap. The key to it is not to use hot water. Because think about it, when you're seasoning the pot, you heat that pot to absorb your oil. So if you're using hot water to clean it, what you do is heat the metal, which releases the seasoning and allows it to wash out. So I use warm to cold, cold to warm water, and I've never had a pot taste like so, you know, and it's because you got to heat the metal to absorb anything. But the m trick is, wash them down with warm, cold, cold to warm water as soon as possible. As soon as you get done eating, start cleaning up. Clean your pots, then take them back to a heat source. Heat them back up because it'll be unreal. You can hand dry that thing all day long. Once you hang it over heat, you'll watch moisture slowly evaporate out of that metal. Because that metal absorbs water. And if you ever open the pot and it smells sort of funny after you've oiled it, it's because you trap moisture under your oil. <laughs> so heat source, dry it totally when you can touch it. Oil it down lightly, back to the heat source. Then if you're doing it over a stove, turn your stove off, you do it over the fire. Once it gets hot, take it off that heat source, let it totally cool, put it up, it's ready to go. Johnny, you, you've used a little 
I think it's a little plastic thing sometimes. If you have food that's really cooked on hard, a scraper, can you tell us about what you do that with? Let me get one, I'll okay. show you. I think we got one right here in the back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.